is the is the president going to clarify what he meant um, when he accused President Obama and White House officials of um, doing wiretaps? Um, did, is that what he meant, or did he mean that he thinks there were wiretaps that the FBI authorized? And does he want to kind of like amend his previous statement? I, I think the statement that we issued yesterday, where President Donald J. Trump is requesting as part of their investigation into Russian activity, the Congressional Intelligence Committees exercise their oversight authority to determine whether executive branch investigative powers were abused in 2016. Neither the White House nor the President will comment further until such oversight is continued. He wants Congress to look into this. I think I've spoken to the President again today. Uh, he would ask that they additionally look into this issue of leaks of classified and other information coming from the government. Um, he believes that it undermines our national security. Uh, and that Congress, the intelligence communities in Congress, using their oversight authority, uh, look into these pervasive leaks of national security, of classified information. Um, so he would do that. I, I would note it's interesting that when you look at what former DNI Clapper said on Meet the Press when he was asked if there was any evidence that the Trump campaign was colluding with the Russian government while the Kremlin was working to influence the, uh, of, uh, the election, his quote was, not to my knowledge. I think we've continued to see um, people who have been briefed and are aware of these stories that have existed. Um, Congressman Chairman Nunez of the Intelligence Committee, uh, Tom Cotton of the Senate, is on the Senate Intelligence Committee, Richard Burr, um, Marco Rubio, you name it, on and on and on, have said that the information that they've been provided, and this is, I, I get it, there's two separate issues here, but I think on the first one, um, you saw over and over again the continued comments by people who are in the know or have been in the know on that situation saying that there was no knowledge. Conversely, you saw former uh, Attorney General Mukasey come out and talk about that, that it's pretty clear that there was some sort of surveillance or wiretaps uh, that had to have existed. All that being said, I think that's why the President is, is asking Congress, uh, the Intelligence Committees, to use their oversight authority to, to further understand what's in this. I'm sorry. So, I'm not sorry, but I know you have. Yeah, no, no, yeah. Um, just before we move on. Okay, so for now, the president is not amending what he did. No. And uh, Jim Comey, in the meantime, I guess wanted justice to knock it down. Have, has well, again, I, I'll be honest with you. I have not seen anything aside from another a report based on anonymous sources that that actually happened. Uh, so aside from anonymous sources saying that a conversation happened, I'm not aware that that occurred. Um, I don't know that we're aware that that occurred. And I frankly don't see anything on the record that show that that actually occurred. So I just, just to be clear, I think this is one of the problems that I think occurred in the whole first set of stories. People start taking things as fact because a series of on the, off the, off the record and anonymous sources say they do. We have started to become a series of believing all of these stories, and yet, you know, I've addressed this in the past. There's, there's, no, there's nothing there to substantiate. In fact, all of the people from, I mean, Clapper's comment, quote, not to my knowledge, end quote. You saw Nunez, Rubio, all these senators and House members that have been briefed by the FBI coming out and saying, we, we have not seen anything either. At some point, you know, I, I would ask people to take on the record sources and quotes as important as the countless numbers of, of, of anonymous author records, Zeke. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. I'm sorry. I just saw the top of a head. Hallie, I'm going to get to you. Don't worry. I'm sorry. That was my bad. It's all right. So uh, explain this to me then. Is, is, if you're talking about not using anonymous sources, what is then the sourcing for the president's tweet? Right. On I, as I said, I think, it, look. Is it, is it, and does he believe it's a FISA warrant? Is it some other? Or, uh, it FISA, could be FISA. Uh, it could be surveillance. So There's no cameras. We can slow it down. There, it's look. I think he has made it clear that there are there's continued reports that have been out there. I'm not going to continue to. I think the president made it clear yesterday that he wants that that he wants Congress to go in and look at this. I think there is substantial reporting out there from other, from individuals and from sources. Okay, Sarah, you're not on camera. You don't need to jump in. We'll, we'll get to your question in turn. Hold on. I'm, the the answer is is that the president has made it clear he wants Congress to look into this. Okay, that, and, and we're encouraging the House and Senate Intelligence Committees to do their, use their, their oversight capabilities and look into this. John Gizzi. Does he not know whether, what kind of surveillance it was? Well, I, I think that there's no question that something happened